Jupiter. Next year in 2024, we're continuing Jupiter. Jupiter continues his journey in Taurus all the way until the end of May. And then it moves into Gemini. And Jupiter in Gemini really can help with communication, marketing, sales, networking, writing, finding your message, delivering your message, figuring out who the message is for and so forth. So you're building infrastructure of communication. Great. The problem with Jupiter, he doesn't like to be in uh, Gemini. He doesn't like to be in Gemini. The first reason is it's the opposite sign of the sign he rules, Sagittarius. So Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. Therefore, he feels that his kingdom is in Sagittarius. You send him to the opposite sign all the way to the other side. He's upset. He doesn't like it. He's like uh, in exile. And when Jupiter is in exile, he's having a hard time helping us. The same way that in 2020, Jupiter was in Capricorn in his sign of fall. He didn't help us. We were kind of alone until the vaccines came when Jupiter moved into Aquarius, which is the sign of technology and innovation and community. And that's why we got the vaccine and we started hanging out with people again. So when Jupiter is in Gemini, like he's in Capricorn, he's not helping us as much. Why the reason why he's not helping us in the second part of 2024 and the first part of 2025, it's not that he's not helping us. It's just that his uh, hands literally are tied behind his back. Hands are Gemini. So he can still help us, give us a good advice, kick us, you know, when we need a kick. Um, but he's not as powerful as he usually is. So that's one thing to remember about 2024, that the second part of 2024 can be a little bit more problematic with that Jupiter in Sagittarius, in Gemini. Now, the other reason why he can't, because Sagittarius rules the truth, Jupiter rules truth and morality, Gemini can be very iffy and questionable about both morality and lies and theft, because Mercury is ruled by uh, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the god of liars and thieves. And there is a reason why it's like that. It's not like some glitch in the system. It's in order for Mercury to be a good communicator, even between heaven and hell, he has to have a dark component. So they accept him in hell or in the underworld. So imagine you want a messenger that's able to go to the worst neighborhood in town, to the most dangerous pub, go in there and send a message to the head of the mafia. OK, why? Because somebody needs to deliver messages to him the same way that I'm sure now we have some messengers, uh, for example, like Qatar, that has definitely a dark side. But that dark side allows them to talk to Hamas. Otherwise, we couldn't have any kind of exchange of hostages and so forth. So that's kind of what Mercury is the reason why Mercury is the god of liars and thieves. So when Jupiter is in Gemini, he's not that happy. 